Well, hello everyone. In this video today, we are going to address a issue that I had with this Commodore recently. If you've seen some of my videos, you'd know I've got a couple, and I'm trying to really get to know these cars so that I can work on them if anything goes wrong. And we, something went wrong the other day. Let me show you. What had happened was my wife came home, and she uh, the car was driving fine, no problems whatsoever. And then all of a sudden, when she got home, she had obviously she had the car in in drive, and she went to put the car back into park. And there was a loud clunking sound. Uh oh. So naturally the first thing I thought of was something has come loose here in this in this assembly up here. And so I took all this apart. Real big mess. There's a lot of uh, a lot of layers of plastic um, to make this all look the way it does. But yeah, so I took it all apart, um, took all this off. There's plenty of videos on YouTube on how to do that bit. But I didn't have to do any of that because there is a there was another problem so I tracked the problem down and uh, it's really interesting because there's not a lot of information about this on the internet at all so um, that's why I'm making this video so I can help you out if it happens to you to diagnose the same issue that I had this just became very floppy and just moved really freely all through there um, so something had obviously broken off somewhere Okay, so not knowing a lot about cars, um, you know, a DIY home person, I always thought that the um, shifter goes straight into the gearbox and you're actually moving something around in the gearbox, but that's not the case. So what you have in the Commodores, at least, I'm not sure about other cars, but in this car, um, is you have a mechanism which is the shifter assembly, and then you have the gearbox separate. And between those two, there is a linkage. All right, and, so, and in this car, it's a rod. And every time you move the shifter, it then there's a pivoting arm, and then it moves the um, the rod to change gears. So I'm a little bit surprised that this rod is exposed to the elements. Like, why on earth am I able to see this rod between these two assemblies? Like, it didn't have a cover. There's no. There's, it just sort of sits there in the in, in the environment, um, exposed to. The, you know whatever's underneath the car so it's obviously just natural because it is exposed that it's going to degrade and what happened is that there's this plastic boot and I'll show you the pictures as we go along you can see here um, there is this plastic like a boot that goes onto the connector and then there's an assembly like a, like a little assembly with a 13 millimeter key uh, 30 millimeter bolt that tightens it onto the rod Okay, and if you see what happened to mine, there's supposed to be an outer ring on the back of it, but it's just completely disintegrated, just snapped off. Um, so over, you know, this car is now what, um, about nine years old, nine, ten years old. So it's, you know, it's going to degrade, and it did. So it just snapped off, and then, so because of that, it pulled away from that arm, the arm that you end up moving when you move your shifter, and you are no longer shifting the car. So to fix it, I needed to get two parts, and one of them is a rubber, sort of a, like a grommet that sits inside the shifter arm, and then the second part is this boot that goes, this plastic sort of boot that goes over the top of that um, section that holds the rod into the arm. Okay, I was quite surprised at how expensive it was, just for these two tiny little pieces, but when you think about it, the, the plastic boot, it's very like engineered to clip in and hold it in place and everything so okay right i understand that it's you know, it, it'll cost more than five cents which is the amount of plastic in it um yeah but uh so the grommet was about twenty dollars and the rubber boot that it fits into was about thirty so about i think i paid sixty sixty two dollars all up from holden all right so to get access to this area you have to be on the left hand side of the car uh, make sure you secure it if you're going to lift it. Um, but um, once you're in there, it's uh, roughly where the door um, hinge is, is where you, and just, just behind that area is where you find this mechanism. And it's um, right near the, the gearbox, obviously. And uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's really easily accessible. Like it was a very easy job. Once I got the parts and figured out what to do, I think, I think it took me like five minutes all up. 
It wasn't a particularly difficult job or anything, it's just you need to get the right parts. And then yeah, it's a pretty basic assembly after that, uh, and, uh, and it just clips in. Now, as an amateur mechanic, if you're watching this video, maybe you can help me out. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to grease any of this because I know it's moving, um, but the, the one that was on there didn't seem like it had any grease on it. So I'm not sure is, is grease a good thing, whether it's supposed to lubricate that area or is it going to just attract more dirt and help, you know, maybe degrade it faster. So I don't know, maybe you can help me out. Um, please comment below. So that's it everyone, so please subscribe, say hello, any comments. Uh, yeah, that'll be, that'll be great. Um, channel's growing slowly. Uh, still don't know what YouTube is, what I'm trying to do here. I'm just making videos and trying to help people out um, with my reviews and with my little how-tos. Motorcycle videos, of course, but um, yeah, if you're interested, please subscribe. And um, yeah, thanks for watching.